G'day, and thanks for joining me. With thanks to the Steam Next Fest that ran this February, I've had the chance to look at a bunch of exciting upcoming indie games due to release in 2024. Now, some I've already talked about on my channel, but there are a few other exciting games that I haven't had the chance to cover. Of this handful of games that I managed to play, I just wanted to talk about the few that I'm most excited for and that I'm most anticipating. At the time of recording, each of these games does have a demo available on Steam, so you can check them out if they interest you. I'll include the links to each of these in the description. Now, onto the first game. Number 6, Rack and Slay. Rack and Slay is a roguelike dungeon crawler where you play as a billiard ball. Built around opportunities to stack and synergize power-ups between levels, this game requires strategy, precision, and the odd dose of good luck to ensure that you can pocket all the enemy balls without causing yourself too much damage in the process. This game features all the usual roguelike staples like shops, collectibles, and randomized replayability, but the billiards aspect is a fantastic, unique, and interesting twist. I definitely recommend you check this one out. The game is set to release in quarter two, 2024. Number five, Irene. Irene is a deceptively simple roguelike deck builder with an incredibly charming art style and a focus on strategy and planning ahead. Between the captivating peaceful scenes moving your character card around farms and towns, progression takes the form of collecting resources from your runs and using them to build and upgrade developments in the town hub. Then, when you're ready to finally set out for battle, battles take place in a style reminiscent of desktop dungeons where you must physically move your card around the board to defeat enemies. Strategy and forethought is a must here, because you don't only need to focus on building an effective deck, but you also need to plan an effective path through the grid of monsters and treasures so you can reach the shrines and progress. If you like roguelikes, deck builders, or if you're a fan of desktop dungeons, this could be the game for you. Irene is set to release sometime this year. I'm just going to jump in quickly here to say thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like what you're seeing and would like to see more, please consider leaving a like or subscribing. It helps out a lot. Thank you. Number 4. Odd Sparks. Odd Sparks subtitle is An Automation Adventure, and I think that sums the game up pretty well. Channeling a classic Nintendo style charm with the music and graphics, the gameplay is strongly reminiscent of Pikmin, but in a more traditional fantasy setting. Setting out in a top down adventure, you must raise buildings and collect resources from the vast world around you. Before long, you learn to create sparks, helpful little creatures that will follow you around until you command them to interact with the environment or assign them to work in a production building. Before you know it, you'll have hordes of sparks to put to work, and you'll have dozens producing and hauling materials around the map. In addition to the charming fantasy setting, automation, building and adventuring, this game features multiplayer co-op, meaning you and a friend can team up to enjoy the charming world together. If the words automation or Pikmin spark joy for you, this game could be right up your alley. Number 3. Ember Ward at a glance, Ember Ward might look like a run-of-a-mill tower defense game with a very appealing cartoony art style. However, as soon as you get into a game, you'll quickly realize that this game is so much more than that. Drawing from a deck of cards that you develop over your run, you have Tetris-style blocks to manage and place in addition to the usual tower defense fare. Using these blocks, you can block paths, create mazes for monsters to pass through, or create extra surface areas to build more of the unique and clever towers on offer. In addition, Ember Ward features the classic roguelike progressions and unlocks, and the ability to choose your own path through each run reminiscent of how Slay the Spire does it. I'm always on the lookout for new tower defense games, and the added deck building, roguelike and maze building elements turn Ember Ward into an incredibly exciting entry. Look out for Ember Ward in quarter two this year. Number two, Starvaders. The developers of Starvaders truly put it best when they describe this game as the ultimate fusion of deck building and grid based tactics. Another option for you roguelike deck builder fans, but with a tactical twist. Set in a world facing a hostile invasion, you must defend humanity with nothing but your choice of pilot, their mech and a deck of cards. Battles are turn based and take place on a grid which feels right at home if you're at all familiar with games like Mega Man Battle Network or Into the Breach. 
The choice of playstyles and deck builds in the demo alone is staggering, and it doesn't take too long to craft a deck that has some incredibly satisfying results on the battlefield. Don't think it's going to be a walk in the park. You can quickly be humbled by the ever-approaching aliens, shuffling down the board in what I can only describe as a modern love letter to the classic Space Invaders, and threatening the world with doom. It was incredibly difficult not to give Star Vaders the top spot in my list, but make no mistake, this game is absolutely one I'll be watching and playing for a long time to come. The demo is available now, with a full release slated for sometime later in 2024. Number 1. Bellatro. What can I say about Bellatro? If you're an indie game fan, a deck builder fan, or a roguelike fan, you've probably already heard of Bellatro, but just in case you haven't, this game can be best described as a poker roguelike. With the classic deck building elements at play, this game introduces a huge range of modifiers through joker cards, tarot cards, and tokens that you collect that can often result in some ridiculous returns on your poker hands. Convert your deck to spades to ensure every hand is a flush. Find a joker card that multiplies your chips for every even numbered card you play. Or just smash the rules and unlock the ability to play straights with gaps in the middle. The possibilities feel like they're just about endless. Despite the often downright insane number of chips you'll be earning, don't think it'll be a walk in the park though, each blind ups the ante with an ever-growing number of chips required to pass, plus some devilish boss battles with devastating modifiers of their own. I could go on, but I won't. I think this is one you'll want to see for yourself. I personally haven't been able to put the demo down, but the great news is that the full game might be available by the time you're even watching this, with the release date set for February 21st. Do yourself a favour and check out Bellatro. I don't think you want to miss this one. And that's it. Those are my top six anticipated indie games of 2024. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you found a game that interests you. Again, links to all the games are in the description. If you like this video and would like to see more, please consider leaving a like or subscribing. I would really appreciate it and it helps out a lot. If you have any feedback or suggestions or other games you'd like to recommend, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks again.